settlement of Yezidis in Armenia and Georgia. Yazidi settlements in Armenia appeared in the early 19th century. The process of resettlement began after the capture of the Yerevan Khanate by the Russians. For the first time, Yazidi settlers settle at the foot of Mount Elijah in Apiran. Before them, Muslim Kurds and Azerbaijanis lived in these parts, who later left these places and some of them moved to Azerbaijan, and some moved to Turkey. It is known that the Balan tribe from among the Yazidi people was one of the first settlers in Apiran. The Mahmud Yezidis moved here after them, under the leadership of the ancient house of Chobanaga. Gradually, the number of Yezidis in Armenia began to multiply, and this continued until 1918. The Yezidis were mainly engaged in cattle herding and lived in peace with neighboring nationalities. Yezidis often came to Tiflis to work and then returned home, for which they had to travel a long way. So, in one archival document it says, there are 10 Yazidi villages in the vicinity of Sarai, there were only 500 houses. Most of all, it is surprising that there are a lot of Russian speakers among them. The famous Russian Kurdish scholar Ristova, in her monograph on the Kurds of Transcaucasia, cites the most valuable material, both field and archival, about the settlement of the Yazidis in Armenia. She reports that the village of Sorok of Talinsky district, located next to the village of Vako, remembers the history of periodic migrations from one place to another. The old people told her that their ancestors from Aintab moved to Sinak of the former Sermolinsky district, and then in the 1900s left Sinak and moved to the village of Kolobaglu of the former Ekmeyadzin district, and from there in the 20s of the 20th century. We moved to Sarik, Zverbal, Ristova. It should be noted that the villages of Bases and Sicily of the Talan district of Armenia are considered relatively older Yazidi villages, although the Turkic-speaking population lived here before them. Later, the Yazidis began to move from their homes to other villages, in which a mixed Armenian Yazidi population already lived. Today, in many villages, Yazidis and Armenians live side by side, for example, Kamoshli, Prashyan, Arthashr, Shamyan etc. Later, new terms came into use and the Yezidis of Armenia were divided into two parts, the Yezidis of Apayaron and simply the Yezidis of all the Yezidis of Ashtarak, Talin, and the Ararat Valley. In Georgia, the Yezidis, mostly settled in the old districts of Tbilisi, tried to adhere to the tribal trait. They occupied empty basements or semi-basements on the same street. Yezidis live in Solalaki, the Duba, Voronsova, Cherkizovskia, Mkhailovskia, Mkulisk, Zimlia, Vera, Maidan, etc. Among themselves, Yezidis called streets and districts of the city by the names of tribes who lived on a particular street. In addition to Tbilisi, a small part of the Yezidis later settled in Ajora, Badami, Inkakati, Telavi, Kvirli, Nori, as well as in Tainati, Gardabani, and Azurjti. Representatives of the Sipki, Dodi, Rozki tribes lived in Badami, as well as one family of sheikhs Jaden and Furs from the Pyrhani family, for Gargari. Some of the Badami Yezidis were deported to Kyrgyzstan in 1944, and later they were returned back to Georgia. In the Tainati district, in Erzo and Sunni, representatives of the Daisni tribe lived, as well as Furs from the Furs of the Purjur Besai clan. Several families of Sipki, Rozki and Mrangi lived in Ozurgti. They have preserved their language and customs until recently, but in recent years most have moved abroad. In addition, both in Georgia and in Armenia, there is a loss of religion, language and customs. This is due to the political and economic processes taking place in these countries.